Hi all, I just thought I'd do something different for a video today. I'm going back in time to the grand old year of 1975 when Doctor Who was at its height, um, peak, call it what you like. Um, this is when a company, a British company called Dennis Fisher, um, made some Doctor Who toys. Now, at the time we had only had really Daleks uh, from the 60s and some from the 70s, uh, early 70s that is, and then we had... Uh, Dennis Fisher come along. Now Dennis Fisher produced a range of um, figures, um, all in total five figures, actually six counting K9 plus a TARDIS and I want to come to them in um, a series of videos. So I'm starting off of course with the fourth Doctor uh, which as you can see is in front of me in its box. The box is a little bit tatty but um, I have it wrapped in a plastic bag there just to try and preserve it. They also brought out a couple of uh, board games, a War of the Daleks and um, a Fourth Doctor one, which I will come to probably uh, at another time. So let's get into this one. So this packaging still excites me today. I do find it a lot more fun, interesting than the current one that we get kind of like from B&M, which is rather bland, to say the best. Uh, it's just sort of blue and grey and a bit of white with that funny logo, new logo on. I mean, this is my favourite logo, so I'm being biased to that. Anyway, let's crack on. So, it says here, Doctor Who, uh, picture of the fourth Doctor holding a Sonic. Now, I bought this in a shop called uh, Hardy's Toys, um, and it cost me the grand price of £5.25. and pence. They tend to go for a lot more now on eBay. And the next panel, of course, it says Intrepid Explorer of the Dalek of the Galaxies, not Daleks. Um, and you have a giant robot, Cybermen and Dalek, and Ducks and Exterminate. Join the Doctor in his adventures through time and space and confront his deadliest enemies. Now, I'm going to spin it around so you can see what other st items were available. Stay. So we have the Doctor, Leela, the TARDIS, the Dalek, Cyberman and the giant robot. The giant robot seemed to be an uh, interesting one because he only appeared in his first story, the fourth Doctor's first story, and was produced in a big action figure, and then throughout the years has been released in various other items, or formats, whichever you prefer. So without further ado, I'm going to spin it around and show you the fourth Doctor. Now, in the words of good old Blue Peter, um, once I get this to stand again, here's one I made earlier. Well, I didn't make it earlier, but here he is, the man himself. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a sonic screwdriver. I lost it years ago. And to get a replacement, oh, it's not easy. They go for a fortune on eBay. I've seen a sonic alone just cost 50 quid. So anyway, comes with this sort of like burgundy... Uh, jacket, his scarf, the tie that never stays down, always sticks up, and his sort of checkered waistcoat, shirt all in one, grey trousers and shoes, and black shoes, I think they were more brown actually, and of course his hat, and this is him from the rear. Good points of articulation, as you can see. I'm not going to be too vigorous on showing all them. it's movements, hip swivels and all that, because I shall tell you a little secret how it's put together. Because I've had a few of these over here, and uh, one, my very first one, which I got, I think it was 75, 76 for Christmas, uh, eventually broke, after being been played with for many years, and the joints are held together just by something as simple as a rubber band. Now, there's been discussion and rumour and chat over the many years about this particular figure. Now, I'm trying to get him to look down, if I can get him. How am I going to do it? Oh, I'm going to lower him down to sit down. Actually, I'll sit him down so you can see his face. There's a reason I want to do this. Take off his hat. There you go. Now, you may or may not have heard of an actor called Gareth Hunt, who played uh, Gambit in The New Avengers. And uh, it was said that they used Gambit's figure to make Tom Baker's face um, for this figure. 
that is complete, as the third Doctor would say, arrant nonsense. Uh, never was true. It is actually a Tom Baker head. And I think it does look like Tom Baker. I think it's just because the kind of the hair, the way it was made, uh, was kind of similar to the actor Gareth Hunt, who, for trivia purposes, actually um, appeared in John Pertwee's final story, Planet of the Spiders. Um, and so there you go. This is The Fourth Doctor from Dennis Fisher. And um, without further ado, I'm going to just go away and come back. We're looking at Leela. So I'm just going to have to pause this a moment because I've got to swap them over. So hold your horses and don't go away. Oh, and while you're there, while you're waiting for me to come back, do me a big favour. There's a button called subscribe. I'd be ever so grateful if you would subscribe to me. And um, give this video a thumb up, please, because it is a big help to me. And also soon I will be doing a video on something new. Um, but I can't say anything at the moment. Spoilers! Be right back. Welcome back, folks. Now I'm taking a look at the Leela figure, uh, which is also quite rare. So, similar style to the Doctor's packaging, except this is in, like, purple, his is in blue. And um, the, this little artwork on the front has her now standing behind uh, the Doctor, and it says, Join Leela and the Doctor in their ventures through time and space and confront their deadliest enemies uh, by Dennis Fisher. Now you can also maybe see if I can just put, you know, I don't know if he's going to show up here it is signed by Louise Jameson who played Leela to Ian Louise Jameson. Um, now I don't ever plan to sell this so I don't mind that it's personalised. Just nice for her to sign it and um, if you ever get to meet lovely Louise she is that, she is absolutely a lovely lady. Right on the back of it of course you've got the same artwork dr lena tardis dalek cybermen uh cyberman and giant rubber i just say about that dalek should have mentioned that before i don't have that one the red top dalek is as rare as hell's teeth cost a small fortune so if you've got that you're lucky where do you live i'm going to get you now if you got it brilliant uh it's one i haven't got and i would still love to have so let me introduce the warrior leela and here she is. So, likeness-wise, not really, I suppose, like Louise Jameson. But the costume is fairly good. So it comes with a sort of, I don't know what you call it, loincloth pouch thing. Uh, it comes with a knife. It's a little bit bent. It's just made of rubber. Uh, fully articulated, as you can see. You know, considering this is 1975-76, um, I really think it's quite a good figure. Um, you know what it's supposed to be. Um, actually, look at it. It's not a bad likeness, actually. Not that bad. Um, I'll just turn around. Mm. For you, that doesn't leave too much to the imagination, her costume. Um, now her boots are kind of moulded on, they don't come off, um, as you can see, they are part of her legs, the legs are just kind of like rubber, um, of course she's got kind of realish hair, um, head swivels, now if you really wanted to tidy up that hair, um, I suppose you could brush it, um, now, I actually have a brush. It's a doll's brush, actually, as you can see. This belonged to once I had Princess Leah. So if you wanted to, and I'm not going to, just you could spend ages trying to brush her hair. But oops, I knocked it down. I think you'd be there for blinking well ages, mind you. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, as they say. Um, but yeah, you could tidy it up if you want. But that's the Leela figure. And how she looks next to the Doctor? Well, let's have a look. I've lost his hat. Let's just get his hat for you. There we are. The fourth Doctor and Leela. Well and truly came out well and truly before character ever did anything. 
I'm not sure what year character started, so I'm not going to say before characters were invented. But it's a nice um, figure, Leela is, and the Four Doctor is. And I'm just going to bring in one last thing, one last little thing. Now, he's battered, I will advise you of that. It is canine. Now, canine, of course, came with a tail and ears, and it's friction drive. Now, unfortunately, the ears were brittle and the tail were brittle. So both mine, uh, which is common, are broken. So there you go. This is canine. But saying that, I think it is quite a, well, quite a blinking accurate one as well. As you see, the blaster can go in. Well, we'll go in. Uh, just bring him around. Uh, I can't really push it down. I don't think. Well, it's friction drive, you'll get the idea. Um, just sticker for the panel. Uh, a tartan collar sticker. He needs a bit of a dust, but that was a K9. Um, now, if you've got one that's mint condition, it's brilliant. Uh, but I know he's battered, but... Nope. I don't care. I've had it for years, and I it's nice to have at least a version of this uh, figure. So there you go. That's really all to say about the Dennis Fisher range of the first part of this story and video. There will be another one where I'm going to cover the uh, Cyberman and the Giant Robot and also the TARDIS. Now the TARDIS might not fit into my light box because it's quite big but... Um, but I will come to that in due course. Well, I've hoped you like that. So please, once again, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all very soon. Take care. God bless. Bye.